National Hockey League, and we are in the state of hockey. It's St. Paul, Minnesota, and we are ready to get wild. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. And he's knocked off the puck there. Quick stop by Ayrson. The player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Couturier. And he slides it quickly to York. Poked away in the neutral zone. Now they're really driving pressure in the ozone, dictating the pace. Now they've got to find a way to funnel it to the net. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And here's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would have nothing more than a quick tear here, Cheryl. Uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, he's most vulnerable right now, you know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him hemmed in. Sealer's going to get two for hooking on the play. frozen up. Cates and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. The Flyers come up with the defensive zone draw. Now a quick pass to Konechny. Lays the body into that play. Gets the puck in deep. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James, and the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Pucks it away in his own end. Scores! And they've gone ahead, and it comes short-handed. Well, and that's just a dagger, isn't it, James? Being aggressive, anticipating an active stick, and getting on your horse and creating opportunity when you're on the PK. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Flyers couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight as they are on the board still early in the first. Yeah, they get their legs underneath them right from the opening faceoff. They get multiple lines into the game and they just kept building momentum and they're rewarded with that first goal of the game. Here's a short pass to Faber. And that's poked away by Johansson. Jostles for the puck but still hangs on. And they get the puck out. That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. Well, after you give up a shorty on a power play, the next shift is critically important. Finding a way to get back and dictate pace. Coaching staff knows that they need some energy. This next shift is critical. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Passes up ahead for the left wing. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. Big time stop. Flurry's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. 
When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Philadelphia's ahead, 1-0. The Flyers win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Drysdale. Moves it over to Konechny. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Konechny's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Quick feed to Drysdale. Slides the puck to Forster. Philadelphia's gained the line and into the zone. The pass in front, and that's stopped. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Rossi's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Rossi's got it against the boards. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Sends it in deep. Minnesota's got the puck. Quick pass to Merrill. And now it's over to Kaprizov. To his teammate. Denies him in front. Scooped up along the wall by Zuccarello. Into the corner now. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Minnesota's had plenty of good looks here so far in the first, but they still trail. Erickson X won the draw and they're on the attack. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Flyers lead it 1-0. Philadelphia's got possession here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Brink. Takes the feed. And he hangs on to the puck. Works it across to Middleton. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances. And when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Middleton's got it into offensive territory. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Philadelphia's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And it's a quick pass to Tippett. Philadelphia's looking to break out. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Controls picking up steam. Smart defensive play there. Here we go. Odd man rush here. Takes a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Flurry. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Minnesota still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Shot! What a save by Ayrson! Takes the shot! Oh my goodness, what a stop as he flashes the leather! Here in the late going to the frame, Philadelphia's up one set. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Konechny. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Levels them with the hit. 
Looks to make a play over to Caprice. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Hathaway's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Dishes it off. And he takes a shot. And that goes off a player in front. Looks to set up at the point now. Scores! At the buzzer, and they get one! Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. Minnesota's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather, I'll recharge. The players will too, and we're coming back with period number two right after this. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Now over to Kaprizov. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Paints it over. And that's deflected off someone in front. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Brodine. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Motion to Zuccarello. Moves it to Faber. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Sanheim. Looking to make something happen at center. Bumped off the puck. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Faber stick handling in his own zone. He says let's get physical on that play. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the point, looks to make something happen. Stopped by the goaltender, he got a little piece of that one. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Back to the point it goes. Hammers the shot! covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Good hit. Put the back in the front. Scores! And the scratching and clock is paid off as they're back to even. Well, back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Minnesota's been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Moves around along the half wall. Just wide. 
The Wilds have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. Dumps it into the Ozone. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. And that pass is stolen. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Wilds have possession along the boards. And that one's denied. Denies him again. Find some space in the corner. Take it along the wall by Tristan. Slides it across. Comes up with the stop. Here they come on the attack. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Merrill's got it deep in the offensive end. And that goes off the glove. Play continues here. Great reach with the poke check by Sealer. The Flyers gain control of the puck. They go on the attack from the left side. Picked up along the boards by Lawton. Taken by Hathaway. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the Sally. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. taking a one goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're gonna protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Strong defensive effort. Up along the wing. The Wilds have the puck in the open ice. The Flyers have it behind the cage. And it takes the pass. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Puck grab by Zamora. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Kalings won the draw. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. With the stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. More than half the frame has been played here. The Flyers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Philadelphia's won the draw and they'll go to work. Stopped by the goaltender. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Brodeen. Centering feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. And he slides it quickly to Sanheim. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Centering feed! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. A chance! Oh, and another quick stop! All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. Distribution and it winds up as a goal. 
Minnesota's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point, just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Rossi's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Quick pass to Caprizov. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, what a stop with the club by Ersen! Minnesota's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. And he takes the feed. Kaprizov slugging the puck. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves it to Spurgeon. Slides the puck over. Konechny's gained the line and on the attack. Shot! Oh, what a stop on the play! Gets all of it with the paddle. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got a one-goal lead. Here he is from the slot! And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Boldy. Passes it in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Quick feed to Tippett. He carries the puck up along the wing. Fires it on net. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick pass to Tippett. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Boldy's taking it from his own end. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Big hit, and that frees up possession. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by York. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Wild have gained possession off the score. one tonight and look at this they've now gone up by two in the late going to the second yeah they've been effective the entire game james they've been first to the puck they've been aggressive on it they've closed quickly and they've capitalized i mean you can't ask for more can you minnesota's got possession at center exploring options here inside the defensive zone through center along the wing down still another 20 to go here in this one join us for period number three next hope you're having a great night two periods down one more to go and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three they're underway here in the third and this could come down to last shot wins. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Philadelphia's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Passes it over to York. From the right side, they gain the zone. Puts it on net. Wow! Flurry. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Slides it up front. Rossi's got on the offensive end. And that was stopped. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Forster. Huge steal in his own end. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. You don't have a lot to give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Takes a shot. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And it's a quick pass to Forster. And he takes the feed. And now he moves it to Brink. Here's a shot. Close save. How did he get a piece of that? Flurry's going to hang on to the puck 
for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing. Coming up with the puck. Slides it on over to Boldy. Moves it to Johansson. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Puck picked up by Johnson. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Farabee's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Sends it quickly to Lawton. Takes the pass. Johnson's gaining momentum. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed at the point. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Puck scooped up by Felino. Here's a short pass to Merrill. Hartman's got the puck along the wing. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Picked off. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Bogosian. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And a great save. The Wilds have taken possession along the wall. Nice feed of center moves up ahead now. Directs it on over to Trinan. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Great heads up play with the stick by Sandheim. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Scrum along the wall. And that puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Faber. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Brodeen. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Brink. Moves it quickly over to Lauco. Broken up in the neutral zone by Goudreau. Sends it in on the attack. Tries to feed it over to Tippett. And he takes the dish. The Flyers carry it along the wall. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moves it to Rossi. Puck moved over to Lauko. Here's a chance. Gets in front of it. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey games, but I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you got to be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you got to do. Put everything in front of it if you want to make the stop. Sends the pass over. And now he moves it quickly to Middleton. Minnesota's on the attack. Quick feed down low. Slides it diagonally to Middleton. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. It's a two-on-one. Steps inside. A pass. Oh, what a stop shutting down that rush. Wow. Minnesota's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Paling's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Makes a save. Here's a short pass to Baldy. Here they come on the attack. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Drysdale's got it along the boards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Brodeen's going to play it against the half wall. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And he's got that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, while well, fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Rossi's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. 
Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And down he goes as the puck goes free. From the opposite point. Takes that pass back at the point. Good heads up play with the bank pass. Slides the puck down low. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker is out. They need a goal here big time. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Point shot. 47 seconds to go here. 43 seconds left on the clock. And now it's grabbed by Sanheim. Gets the puck over to York. Taken by Couturier. Fires it. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Slides it quickly to York. And he gets his glove out to stop the pinball shot. 22 seconds left on the clock. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice chains. So much pressure on the center to win this draw.